Hey guys, how's it going? It's Phil from Phil's Computer Lab. Welcome to another video. Today I'm showing you how you can boost VGA and SVGA performance under DOS on a Pentium Pro and later. The same trick does work on a few other processes and I might be doing separate videos for those. The screen you're looking at here is the DOS benchmark pack that I put together. I did this because a lot of people ask me to do their own benchmarks and compare the results. So I pieced together all the benchmarks that I use in a nice little program with a very simple starter menu. You can download that from my homepage, do your own benchmarks and share your results with mine or with other results from the community. Let's go straight into some benchmarks. We're getting 340.1 in 3D Bench. 336.2 in Chris's 3D Bench. 159.6 in PC Player Benchmark at 320 by 200. And 36.5 at the higher 640 by 480 resolution. In Doom we're getting 627 real ticks, which is a frames per second of 119.12. And Quake clocks in at 125.9 FPS at 320 by 200. And 23.4 FPS at 640 by 480. The system we're using today has a Pentium 3 running at 600 MHz. We've got 256 MB of RAM. The motherboard is an 8-bit BH6 and the video card is an NVIDIA Quadro 2 Pro. We are also in MS-DOS mode of Windows 98 SE. So now we've established a baseline of the performance of this machine. I want you to pay attention to the menu options I and J. Both have in brackets the word VGA boost. Uh, J is a little bit not more difficult to use, but it's interactive. It asks you all sorts of questions. I is the easiest one. This is a set and forget. So all you have to pr do is press I, and then you can see some information here. Just press enter, and now the graphics boost is active. I will show you the details about these two programs uh, on the command line a little bit in, in more detail a little bit later, but now let's go back into the benchmarks and let's have a look what performance boost we're getting. 855.6 for 3D Bench, 562.6 for Chris's 3D Bench, 191.6 for PC Player Benchmark at 320 by 200 and 68.5 at 640 by 480. In Doom we're getting 448 real ticks and in frames per seconds that's 166.72. And in Quake we're getting 143.8 at 320 by 200 and 52.4 FPS at the higher 640 by 480 resolution. Okay, let's have a look at these results. I quickly put them all into a nice little graph and we can see straight away that across the board we're getting a really awesome performance boost, especially at the 640x480 resolution. If you're looking at Quake and PC Player Benchmark, that's almost double the performance, so that's really impressive. So the bottom line is if you've got a Pentium Pro, a Pentium 2, a Pentium 3 machine, and you're playing a lot of DOS games, this is definitely something you should be loading every time before running a game. So now we're going to have a look at these programs in more detail. You can continue using the DOS starter pack, but it's easier to just put that command into a startup batch file or something like that. So the first program we're looking at is MTRRLFBE and the MTRR stands for Memory Type Range Registers and that's basically what the Pentium Pro and later processors support. And what these tools do is they activate write combining. And basically what write combining does is it combines all these little write requests and puts them together in one big chunk and then bursts it out into the memory. And by doing that, basically efficiency goes up and frame rate also goes up. So let's have a look at this tool. If we just start that tool without typing in any commands, it gives us uh, a bit of a clue. And you actually need to run this tool twice. So you type in the command, then you type in either the word the word VGA or LFB. We're starting with VGA first and then WC for right combine. We we'll press enter. It's now telling us that that's all activated and then we have to run that command again um, but for the linear frame buffer WC and do the same thing. So basically you need to run this command twice. The uh, VGA so the LFB will boost high resolution stuff, uh, 640 by 480 and higher, whereas the VGA option will only boost uh, 320 by 200 games. Yeah, So that's why you need to run it twice. The other program I can recommend is uh, FastVid. 
and this is more interactive so you just have to launch it and basically it asks you a few questions so the first time you just press enter now depending on the chipset I've got a 440BX chipset we don't need write posting to be activated so I'll just press N for no then here it's asking us do we want to do banked VGA write combining absolutely so we type in yes then it talks about there's an issue with some video cards having two megabytes we, we are not affected so I'll go no and then it's asking us for the linear frame buffer I say yes and then this is just a confirmation I say yes again and then it's really something interesting it tells us what the command is the next time if we don't want to go through all the questions we can just type in fast vid 01164 and then D and the address yeah so and then to activate it we just press enter and basically this did the exact same thing as the other program it activated right, right combining for VGA as well as for the high resolution stuff and that's how you use those tools and that's how you boost DOS VGA performance on a Pentium Pro and later now I did say earlier in the video there are some other processes that support this technology so I will try to do a few more videos covering those but this video only covered the Intel processes and that's it for this video guys thank you for watching so if you have one of those processes do make sure you uh, use those tools to get the performance boost as always I'll see you soon in another video thanks for watching guys